The SAT has gone digital and students are scrambling to figure out how to study for the digital SAT while maintaining a life outside of studying. Because who wants to study eight hours a day for an exam? In this video, I'll be going over the number one AI powered digital SAT tool that will help you improve your DSAT scores and you're only going to have to study two hours a day. The students I have worked with closely that improve their score the most all use this single tool. So what is this tool? Introducing LearnQ.ai. LearnQ.ai is an AI based DSAT learning platform that comes with a variety of features, which we will go over in depth. The reason it's being used by many colleges, schools, etc. across the world is because it solves the four biggest problems students taking the DSAT have. Problem number one, not knowing where you are at. College Board has released a few digital SAT exams on their website that students can use. Unfortunately, there's not many and these tests don't really reflect the real digital SAT. Luckily, LearnQ has a big bank of diagnostic exams that you can take to accurately understand where you are at before you start studying. This will save you a ton of time in your study routine because imagine you're already good at solving circle equation problems and the diagnostic exam will tell you that and now you just save five hours of study on circles that you can now spend on linear inequalities where you might be weaker at now how exactly will you be able to figure out what you're good at what you're weak at after taking the diagnostic exam well LearnQ gives very detailed analytics on your performance and what you should be focusing on after you take your first diagnostic and it also tells you your current digital SAT predicted score so that way you can really monitor how much that score goes up as you study week by week and you start doing the mini practices. And this leads us to problem number two, doing practice problems are boring and there's not enough to begin with. Let's be honest, how many of you guys enjoy doing practice problems? Most of us don't, right? It's very boring, it's very monotonous. The worst part is for the digital SAT, there are just not enough practice problems that are reflective of the exam. Luckily, LearnQ has a bank of thousands of AI generated problems that match the digital SAT to a T. And one of the coolest things about this entire experience, which I think is something really good, is the gamified experience. You see, I'm a gamer myself. I always play video games since I was young and I love studying in a way where it's reflective of a video game. And that's what LearnQ accomplishes. You see, when you do these uh, practice problems, you're given a novice level at the start. As you do more and more problems, you can achieve a mastery level, much like a game. There's also the idea of having lives. So after a certain number of lives, you are out. So if you get a problem wrong, you lose a life and you get three lives. So once you get three problems wrong, it's over. These small changes are what really raise your digital SAT learning experience and keep you from getting burnt out mentally. Because if you get burnt out, kiss your score goodbye. Now, remember when I talked about not wanting to study for hours on end? This is where one of the most clutch features of LearnQ shines. If you notice this expected score boost indicator by the topics, it is an indicator that LearnQ uses to tell you how much your score is expected to increase if you actively work on that specific topic. This is based on the AI's learning algorithm that scans the various topics on the DSAT, how prevalent they are, how much they are tested on the exam, as well as how good you are at these areas and how much you would benefit working on the specific area, how much your score would rapidly increase. And this helps you a lot because imagine you need to cram study and you want your score to improve as much and as fast as possible. And you only have like a week to do so. You can literally see which topics will result in the biggest score increase for you specifically. So then just do those practices with those high expected score boosts and you're just gonna see your score go from a 1400 to a 1550. Now doing all these problems is good, but at the end of the day, you want to take practice exams. And this is where the one of the biggest problems for this entire digital SAT movement is there's not enough mock exams. This is the most famous problem that DSAT students encounter. Like I said, College Board has five exams that you can take as mock exams to really, you know, see how well you're doing. But these exams aren't adaptive. Their, their module two doesn't change based on how well you do in module one, like the real DSAT does. Because these are, you know, pre-made exams you can print out. And now many platforms today give the same exact mock exam to every single student, no matter how well they do in module one. Their module two just isn't adaptive. And this is what messes up a lot of students because students start thinking that, yeah, I'm good for the DSAT because I did good on module two as well as module one. But when they take the real exam, module two changes based on how well they do module one. And that just messes them up and they end up getting a very low score. Personally, I don't know any platform that gives mock exams that are exactly like the real digital SAT, but LearnQ does. LearnQ takes you through the exact digital SAT exam experience you're going to face on the exam with timing, break times, and problems that reflect what you're going to see on the real exam. And the module two will change depending on how well you do on module one. It will 
will get harder if you do really good on module one. That might scare you, but that's how the real exam is like. So now you don't have to predict how well you do. The results will be right in front of you. Now, if you're taking these exams, you're doing all these practice problems and you get problems wrong. And you, you know, you look at the explanation as to why you got it wrong, but you still don't understand who's going to help you. This is where Mia, Learning Q's AI tutor comes into play. Mia is an AI tutor that will answer any question you give her. If you have a question about a problem you got wrong, you can ask her about it and she'll give you a detailed breakdown in a way that you can understand how to get the right answer. She will also tell you why the wrong answers are wrong, why the correct answers are correct. And if you want to go above and beyond, you can ask her to generate an example problem that's just like the problem you just took. And she will do it right there, right away. So imagine you get a problem wrong and then you see the explanation that Mia gives you and you're like, oh, I think I understand this topic. And now you want an exact problem just like that with different numbers to really test yourself. You can ask her to give you an exact problem that's you know very similar to the one you just did and boom, you will get it and you can solve it and you can tell her what answer that you think is correct and she will let you know if you got it right. So imagine you get a problem wrong, you get similar problems that are like it and now you get those problems correct and you can literally see yourself improving real time. And the fact that you have someone to guide you and answer all your questions throughout this entire experience makes the overall experience that much better. And the last problem that I have seen many students struggle with is not having the correct report about their score, not knowing where they're struggling, not knowing what they're good at, not knowing really anything about their SAT journey. And this is where the power of analytics really comes in. If you look at LearnQ's analytical dashboard, you can see various analytics regarding your mock exams, your practices, as well as your diagnostic exams. You can see how well you're doing on these exams, what's your predicted score, you can see the trend, right? So if you see that you're trending up, meaning you're expected to get a higher and higher DSAT score, you can see if you're on the right track or if you need to change certain things up. You can see what areas you're good at, what areas you're weak at, and you can directly just go ahead and just improve the areas you're weak at. So your expected score is even higher. And this is the power of analytics. You are able to see exactly what you need help with. You're able to work on those exact areas. So at the end of your SAT studying journey, you're probably going to be good at everything. And you know what that means? You're getting a 1500 plus, even if you start at, at like a thousand. So expect an amazing study plan, expect gamified problems, and expect mock exams are extremely realistic of the DSAT exam you're going to take on the real test day. So if you want to check out this AI power learning experience for yourself, check the link in the description below and sign up to learn Q today. And you are going to see your score in real time improve to your gold score. Don't believe me? You'll see it for yourself.